We will come to the items that we require. Nothing unites shareholders more than the call to a family meeting of this manner by an institution where they have chosen to put their money by way of investment. The anticipation of a good outing explains the number of shareholders who have shown up here in Lagos to be a part of the 29th annual general meeting of Assets Bank PLC. For starters, a brief on the day's proceedings. As ordinary resolutions, one, to receive the group's audited financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2017, and the reports of the directors, auditors, and audit committee thereon. Two, to declare a final dividend. 2017, the year on the review was for many in the financial sector quite challenging owing to the adverse market conditions and the residue issues from recession. But Assets Bank's management says it was able to grow gross earnings by 20% to 459 billion naira. Profit before tax stood at 80 billion naira. Total asset as of December 2017 stood at 4.1 trillion, representing 18% and more. When we came in in 2002, of course with your support, this balance sheet we are talking about was 10 billion naira. Today we are talking about a balance sheet that is 4.3 trillion naira. We had 12 branches. We are now almost 400 branches. In 2013, our customer base was less than 6 million customers. Today, we are more than 9 million customers. Then to the part that gladdens the heart of shareholders, dividend. In terms of profit, they did well and they are going to pay us final dividend today. So that's why I'm happy and I'm glad. And as a shareholder, I'm getting capital appreciation, dividend, and the rest. With the promise of improvement in their e-channels, of course, that will result into an improved gross earning. And of course, with cost minimization, Assets Bank will be able to pay a much better dividend. Looking ahead, management says customers will remain key. It says it will continue its consistent execution of strategy, adopt to regulatory and market changes for maximized shareholders' value, and ultimately become Africa's gateway to the world within the next five years.